Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we have a two-for-one deal. We have, we're going to be unboxing these puppies right here. These are the Boya Omnidirectional Microphones, Lav Microphones for your iPhone and um, Android devices phone. So if you want to do some blog vlogging or use your phone as your main source of your video content, these microphones right here will help. Uh, these microphones will run you around about $69.99 to $79.99, wherever, um, you know, might, you might be able to catch them on sale on Amazon or other places. So around about between the $80 range and the $69 range. For Amazon, they're $69.99. They're 12% off right now, but I've had these for a little while. I think I got them around about for like $39.99 when they were on sale. And this has been many, many moons ago. Just getting to doing the unboxing right now. Now, this is what happened, guys. The reason why I got two of these, because when I first got the first one, this one right here, I was like, yeah, I got this one. And I and I looked at it, and it was like, oh, this is for iOS. I was like, okay, this is, doesn't have the USB-C. But when I you know, ordered it, it was supposed to have the USB-C, but this one only has the iPhone plug. So since my daughter gave me her iPhone 13, we're going to see how it works. I got it a little, I mean, I got it on a good deal on Amazon. So I am, I didn't send it back. I just went on ahead when, when the Sam, um, when I said Samsung, when the Android um, one went on sale with the C um, port, um, I said, okay, let's go ahead and get this. So we end up getting this. So we have two. So we're going to unbox both of them in case you have an old iPhone that you're using for video content or you have the, a USB-C. Now, this can be used on the iPhone as well, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm just calling it USB-C for Android. And this is for iPhone. So let's go ahead and get to the details before we get to the Eagle Eye View. Because I was about to say, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. Let's get to the details. Doves, easy auto connect. Um, Boya. Microphone does not require any driver. Simply plug the receiver into your recording device. Smart noise reduction. Boy, your Omni mic has mute and noise reduction function. It has that. It also has a portable charging box. Comes with a charging box. The microphone is a built-in chargeable lithium battery with battery life up to five hours. So you'll see the microphones has five hours. Um, the charger box can be used up to 15 hours. You can charge the device through the transmitter while recording without worrying about interruption and in recording. Cool. It has, also has a magnetic black back clip where you can you know, clip it on instead of putting on your magnetically can clip on through your shirt. So that's pretty decent too. And it comes with a 24 month warranty. Boya provides two year warranty. So without further ado, after getting all that jazz out the way, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. All right, guys, we're in the Eagle Eye View. This is how they look. Well, see, I thought, you know, then it come up as an iOS, but that's it. That's how it looks here. This is all the stuff it has in here. So we got that. Oh, this is the other one here. Basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. We're going to go ahead and unbox this one first. Okay, we have our books and stuff like that. Put that over here. Uh, we have, let's go under first. So, okay, we have this. Okay, that's cool. And we have this right here. Please, guys, never eat these. Never eat these. It's dangerous. And we're going to go ahead and open up here. There we go there. Okay, so that's it. That. So let's go ahead and get to these first. Okay, we have, okay, we have circular. I guess these are wind guards for your mics. We have a, oh, we have a couple. Okay, we have three. Okay, that's cool. We have a USB-C to USB-A right there. Kind of cheap on the wires. And let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so this is how they look. Okay, so you can put your wires here. So let me just go ahead and do that. We can put the earmuffs in there too, but we'll wait until that. And this is how it looks, guys. Okay, this is how it looks. Magnetic, like that. That's kind of strong. That's kind of strong, okay. 
I'm gonna have this right here. Okay. Same thing. All right. So, and then we have the receiver. And as you can see, right there. Kind of, you know, was kind of mad, but I was like, nah, my daughter gave me it, so I'm gonna use it. So let's put this over here. Let's see, it's probably the same thing, guys. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, this one have a bomb. bomb. Okay, Back different. Boom. Okay, so now your books and stuff. Take this out. Okay. Now there is a difference. This one is a little bit bigger. I kind of, you know, I don't know. You know, they come a little different now. So before we get into that, got the books and stuff. Got over here. Okay, we got a pouch. Okay, okay. So this one didn't come with a pouch, but this one did. Okay, I see. Nothing else in here. And now let's go into the pouch. See what's in the pouch. Okay, we have one. We have one wind guard. We have USB C, USB A. I don't eat these at all. And then we have the pouch. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, now, this has a plastic and this has this, but this has the bag. So I don't know. I think I like this one better, guys. I like this one better. Look at that. Nice. And I think that's pleather. There might be pleather, to, you know, and coming to a method. What is that? Velvet? This might be pleather, though, right here. This is plastic. So, same setup, though. All right, here we go here. And this is... Okay. Oh. So, now, where those have the round part, you know, and you put them on around, this has the wind mic that actually snaps into where the microphone is right here. So, so I'm dropping stuff. You see those two holes right here? And then you take this here, and it goes, see those glass things right there? And it goes, you snap it in. Let's see if we can get it in. I like the other ones better, guys. This one is going to be, so I'm glad it came. The other one came with quite a few. See, it goes like that. I don't like that. Too much of a hassle. I'd rather have something like this put around it. You know what I'm saying? It goes right around. So I can use it for both. Like that. I like this better. So I don't have to deal with this. Maybe this one might be better than this. But look at that. Like you want to have a funny, you know, the movie Critters. You know, like one of the Critters on your shirt. Or a Mach Y. You know what I'm saying? Gremlins. So, pretty decent. Same, same thing. Now, I didn't show this. I should have, but forgive me. So this the receiver, and you can recharge your phone through the receiver on both of them. But um, let's see, if we get that right in there. The way you turn it on, guys. So we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to charging up and stuff like that. But you have to hit this button. The middle button comes on, and then once it, you know, goes into um your um, phone and then we so we'll get to that in a minute turn it off you hit it again turn it off so that's on for both so let's do this let me go ahead and start charging these up take off the little tab right here on both of them and we'll go ahead and charge it up i mean get to the other part where we can charge it up and stuff like that this is how it looks when you put it in oh. and it comes with a full Let's go ahead and do that on both of these so you can see how they look when charging up. We'll let them charge up for a little while. And we have these right here. Okay, now, when you put these on, you want to make sure this here, and now will stick on. You can put it like this, but it sticks on with this. So you, you can go like that, but you want to make sure it's clicking on. And let's take this off. 
Go ahead. All right, there we go. Zip this up. Now, I, I do like this a little bit better, guys, because this one, you drop it, you know, with a mic. Now, the magnets are tight, it, you know, cl closes, but I like this one better because it's, you know, if it falls, you know, this is soft. This is a hard case. I think I like the, the soft case better, guys. So why don't we go ahead and get into the charging up and, you know, it was well, nothing pairing up. Just show you how to hook it up to your phone and then we'll go ahead and, you know, well, let's go to those things first and then we get to the other part. All right. All right, guys, before we get to the charging up, I want to do, you know, I got the scale, so I'm going to use it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on here. And we can say it's 122 grams. And then we're going to put this one on here, which is 133 grams. So you can see this one weighs more. This is 122, and this is 133, so around about 10, this weighs about 10 grams more, which is cool. So not going to cost too much weight in your book bag, you know what I'm saying? So there you go. Let's get to charging it up. All right, guys, let's get to charging it up. We're going to use this first. Make sure it's on. You can see it's fully charged. There you go. All right. There we go. All right. So we see that works there. So let's go ahead and try this. We're going to use the Samsung, um, I guess this, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm dropping everything. This one right here, which is the fast charging. And put that right there. So it works. There you go, it works. So let's go ahead and get into pair, not pairing it up, but see how it, you know, we're gonna put it on the iPhone and the Android and see how it looks. I right, be right back, guys. The iPhone 13 first, get it set up. So one thing you have to realize, you have to make sure that it's, you know, it's able, you have to put it, it has to be in this screen, you know, in this, I don't know what that screen called, but it has to be, you know, unlocked for you to use it. So you have to, it has to be unlocked before you can use it. So what we're going to do, this is how it looks. Now you can see both of them are charging up. What we're going to do, we're going to take this one out. Take this. Now, when you take it out of the thing, it automatically tries to hook up. You can see it's blinking that way. That means it is not connected. So once you take this part and you put it in, now there's not going to be no indication that this thing is on. But once you put it in, let's turn this, let's get this back going with the knees. Sorry for hitting. Once we get it on, now you see it goes to a solid blue. Now, to mute it, you just click it once, and it's muted. To take it off mute, click it again, and then to put it on noise reduction, double click it. Let's try that again. And there you go, green. Okay? So that green means noise reduction. You want to get back to the regular, click it again. I mean, well, that one click will go ahead and mute it. And so you have to double click it again to get it back to just without noise reduction. So that's how that works. And as you can see, it's connected. So that's how it works for the iOS. Let's get to the Android. All right, guys, Android, put this up here. As you see, we are, in, we are using the Pixel 8 Pro or Pro 8. So we're going to take this. Now, again, same thing. Look at that right here. See how it's just blinking? That means it's not connected. So once we go ahead and put this in, it's connected. Now, I don't have to unlock the screen for this. See, that's connected. So it's the same thing. You want to mute it, quick press, and it's muted. 
If you want to take it off mute, press it again, takes it off. Now, if you want to put it on noise reduction, you have to double tap it, tap it, and it goes, goes green. Now, the, what I didn't show on the other one is if you want to turn it off, you just hold the button down and it goes off. So let's do that again. Turn it on, hit it, it's on. Tap one time, it goes into mute, unmute, tap it again. And if you want to turn on noise reduction, it's, it's two quick taps, it goes green. And then to turn it off, you just hold it down, it goes off. All right, guys, that's it. So it's on, double tap, hit it one time, mute, turn mute off. Turn off the noise reduction and to turn it off. There you go. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into the car and we're going to try these out in the car, guys. So let's get to the car. Oh, before we go. Now, one thing I don't like about the Pixel Pro, this is just my thing. Now, when you want to use something like an external mic, you have to go to the, you know, to the video part and then you have to hit this because what happens is if you don't cut on right here, phone mic or use an external mic, it will not cut on automatically. Meaning that like Samsung's and Apple's, it just automatically just go to using that mic. For Google, you literally have to go in here and press which one you prefer. If you do not do that, when you put the external mic in, the um, lav mic or any external mic, it will not, it will go through the phone. It won't not go through the mic. So I'm just letting you know. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get to the car, you know, see how the noise reduction, if it's good or bad, put it up against a, just a regular lav mic that I have with all the same functionalities. See how it sounds. All right, everybody, I'm in my car. I'm in my car. So what we're going to be using now, right now I have no microphone. This is the iPhone 13 and this is going straight through the um, microphone on the iPhone 13. So what we're gonna be using as a kind of, uh, I'm not gonna say bass, but both of them will be going up against this right here. This right here is just a generic one that I have. As you can see right there. Now what I'm gonna do, show you has the, it has the iPhone on one side, it has the um, USC port on the other. So you could do both of them and then yeah, this. So this, um, the light does come on. As you can see, it's, it's alternating blue and red. So when I um, take it and put it in the phone, give me one second, guys. So I can do this. I'm gonna show you so you can see. Okay, there we go. Um, mm -mm -mm. Take this out of here real quick. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. Now, what we do and do, you got to cut it on. This has on, you see, it's flashing. So when we cut this on, now that right there means, I don't know if you can see the color, but it's like a purplish color, means that it's on noise cancellation. I mean, noise reduction. When you hit it, double tap it, I'm trying to get off of it. All right, so there we go. It's on blue. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna put this on the iPhone. Do it a couple of times now. As you can see, I do have the air up on. I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear. And we're gonna be testing against something like this, seeing how it does. Does it kind of cancel out the air and stuff like that? You know, a little something, something, something like that. So let's get to it. All right, everybody. As you see, it's right here. Just gonna put it right here because I don't handle where else to put it at right at the moment. But how do I sound? This is just without the um, um, noise reduction. I'm gonna turn up the air. How does it sound? Can you hear me over the air? Can you hear the air? Let me know. All right, now we're gonna go into the noise reduction. I have the noise reduction on the generic pair. Again, these pair right here. So how do I sound? Okay, now I'm gonna turn up the fan. Okay, how do I sound? Did the noise disappear? How do I sound 
you know, did the noise reduction come on? I'm going to check the video either way. How do I sound? All right, I'm going to turn it back down. Okay, how do I sound? How does the noise sound in the car? Let me know. Let's get to the Boya on the iPhone 13. All right, guys, this is the Boya. As you can see, I have it down here because the magnetic back it allows me to put it down a little further. And it's sticking good. I hope you don't, don't hear this too much, but it's, it's on there good. So how do I sound? This is without the noise reduction on right now. How do I sound? I'm going to turn up the, um, the air condition all the way up. How do I sound? Do I sound better on this or the other one? How do I sound? I'm going to turn it back down. All right, guys, we're going to go to the noise reduction. We have the noise reduction on. So do I sound different? Because sometimes they say with noise reduction on, you do sound a little different. So how do I sound? I'm sorry, guys. I forget the camera's right here. So please forgive me. How do I sound, guys? I'm going to turn up the air conditioning. Hey, how do I sound? Do you hear the air conditioning? Do you hear any of the background noise? How do I sound? Okay, now I'm going to turn it down. All right, turn down. So how do I sound? With both ways and with the um, the generic ones, with this one right here, how do I sound? Which one sounds better on the iPhone um, 13? Let's get to the end. Everybody, this is a baseline. This is without any of the lav mics right now. So how do I sound? This is using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. How do I sound? All right, let's get into the test. This is just with the generic brand. This is without the noise reduction on. How do I sound, guys? How do I sound? I'm going to turn up the, the air conditioning. Okay. I know you can hear it. So how do it sound? I know it's annoying. So let me turn it down. All right, let's get right into the um, noise reduction. All right, guys. Noise reduction. Here go the test. Let's turn up the air. Now, normally what noise reduction does, it'll just make the, it'll come on real loud and it'll, you know, kind of trying to delete the background noise. So how do I sound? What do you think about the sound? All right, we're going to turn it down. And we're going to get right into the Boya. Magnetic backing on there strong. So how do I sound with the Boya? This is without the um, noise reduction on. How do I sound? I'm going to turn up the air. I know you can hear it. I know it's annoying, but we got to go through the test. How do I sound? How do I sound? How do I sound? Let me go down. All right, guys, we're going to go right into the noise reduction. All right, guys, I got the noise reduction on. Now we're going to put on the air condition. How do I sound, guys? Did it make the background noise disappear with the noise reduction? Give it a couple more seconds. So how do I sound? How do I sound? Can you hear me? You know, so I'm going to turn it down. All right, guys, you, you saw the iPhone, you know, the iOS version, plus you saw the um, USB-C for Android. I, and I guess this can be used for iOS, too. So, hey, why don't we go ahead and um, get back to the record view? After I listen to everything and I'll see which one sounds the best. Do the um, generic brand hold up or does the Boya hold up? Let's see. Let's get into the regular, back to the regular view. Yo, 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 I'm back with my final thoughts on a Boya lav mics for your iOS or Android device. And before I get into my thoughts and give it a, give it a grade, I want to say that this surprised me because this has wireless charge on it. I didn't see it until one. I just was looking and I was like, what? Oh, it has wireless charge. So sorry, guys. The, um, the one with the hard case does have wireless charge. And I did not get to test this on an iOS device. It does it is USB-C, um, but the only iOS device I have is iPhone 13, which comes with the old proprietary port on it. So I'm sorry, guys, I didn't get a chance to test it, but it should work on an iOS device. But I was, you know, you know, kind of really read deep into it, you know, in the description to make sure it does. Um, just like it said, it didn't, it didn't even, I don't even think I read it had wireless charge unless I skipped over it. And it could have been, because I'm, I'm a doofus at times. Um, but say, say all that, I'm going to get into the, the other part now, is that I like both of them, guys. I think both of them did well. 
Um, and that's why I use this as a base test, um, the um, generic generic um, brand or the generic lav mic, because this one right here has everything that these can do. Intelligent, take out the, back, the, noise, the background noise. It sound pretty good. I think these do sound better. I'm not going to say way better, but they do definitely sound um, steps above. This one, I'm not going to say leaps, but steps above this one here. Now, sometimes you will hear me in the background and everything. Sometimes when you turn on the noise reduction, it sounded kind of mute, like the voice was muted or it was no muffled. The voice sound muffled. So um, I know it sound muffled when you did it with the generic and it kind of did sound muffled a little bit with these two as well. Um, like I said, these are not your high end brand or these are not Boy, it does have high end versions of their lav mic, but this is more of a, a medium to low budget offering. Um, so I'm not saying that they're bad, but you got to understand what you're getting. Um, again, the price range is going to be from 80 to 45 if you can find it on sale. But um, they did sound better. The, the noise reduction works very well. Um, I know that using the, the car, you know, using the air conditioning in the car. I just wanted to see how well, how well it would do. And to give you some, some, um, a gauge to measure, you know, how well, you know, it will work for you. If you decide you wanted something like this. Now I understand once you get to higher frequencies, it's not going to cancel out every type of noise or every type of frequency, but it did do a, 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 a good enough job in the car with the air conditioning on, so as you can hear that it did cut out the background noise. So I'm thinking if you go walk around in a park or you in kind of a, you know, somewhere where there's a lot of noise being, you know, a lot of you know, noise happening. If you use this, you turn on the noise reduction, it will it will most likely take out those background noises as well. So what do I think? I think they did do steps above. I'm not going to say leap, but steps above what these do. These are not bad but they're not that good. They're, they're fair to Midland. These are way above fair to Midland. I give these a strong B, guys, a strong B. I'm trying not to make this video longer by my rants, but a strong B. The only thing I don't like about this, and again, I'm not an audiophile here, so to me, they sound just good. They sound great. To you, you know, listen to it, you might say, I don't like the way that sound. You have to uh, tweak this, tweak that. And I understand that. Um, the only thing I don't like, when, the thing I did not like, and I don't know if I, if I should not like it, if I should, but I don't like it, is that you can use the, you can use the middle part with these. The, uh, this is the receiver. So the receiver, you can swap. So I can use the, the cream colored on the black receiver and the and the and the dark color on the um the cream receiver. And I don't know if it's supposed to have two different frequencies. Um I think it's lazy if they don't have two different frequencies. I think they should, because somebody else could have it and you could be hooking yours up and you could tap in and you think you're talking on yours, but you're talking on theirs. Uh, so I don't know if that's supposed to be a feature that you could swap them and you know work interchangeably, or that's a lazy move because they didn't want to change frequency, or there's a frequency you know, band within the receivers that, you know, long as it hits one of those frequencies, it will connect. I don't know. I'm, that's, I don't know how that would work. So if anybody that knows better than me can tell me, drop it in the comment or point me to another video, you know, that'll tell me how, you know, why they do that. I will, I would be willing to learn. But as of right now, I think that's a bad idea because frequency shouldn't be able to, you know, we could, no, frequency shouldn't be able to, you know, cross like that. No, to me, you should be able to only use this on this and use this on this. And they shouldn't be able to cross pollinate as the as I'm using that word cross pollination. Shouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to give it a strong B, guys. I do like the sound. I think this is going to be a welcome addition to when I start vlogging. I'm going on nature walks, you know, doing videos outside. These will be a welcome addition. Now, like I said, these are still pretty good, but these are better so i'm gonna give it a b guys i'm gonna give it a b hey do me a favor please like share and subscribe and hit a thumbs up for the algorithm because the more thumbs up we get the deeper in the youtube algorithm we shall go 
I, I, I still want I, I want to thank my current and new new and current subscriber for rocking with channel we are up to 974 subscribers guys we're going to get up there to the 1000 mark soon really i want to hit 2000 before the end of the year but hey that's too you know that's you know what i want but you know we can we can hit it if you want to but i just want to thank everybody for still rocking with your boy on the, on another unboxing uh, yet again this is your boy the ghetto Og for aka pastor tech thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing. I know I'm rambling and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this video is kind of long, but I wanted to get everything in so I can try to give you the best review of this product I can. So do me a favor, please like, share, subscribe, and we will be, you know, stay tuned. We have some more videos dropping soon. You have a good day. See you.